You guys, <laughs> I think my internet died and that's why you guys couldn't see what was going on. So I was just talking to nobody, <laughs> but here we are again and we are at the point. I'll have to go through and tell you all the oils that I used in a minute, but we are at the point where everything is melted. So sorry you guys for my sketchy country internet, but um, Everything's melted, and then you just remove it from the heat and kind of move this over here. Sorry, world. Um, hi, Sarah. Sorry, it was my internet, not yours. <laughs> Welcome to the middle of nowhere. Okay, so um, I might do another not live thing so we can actually get the full... Um, you know, full tutorial. <laughs> but basically everything's melted now. I let it sit for about 30 seconds and just kind of stir it to cool it down before we put the oils in. And we're using lavender, frankincense, and melaleuca because they're all really awesome for uh, skin wounds. Like, um, lavender is a natural antiseptic, so it cleans your wound. Um, it's an astringent, so it tightens your skin. It's anti-inflammatory, so it reduces redness. And it's antimicrobial, so it kills all the gross stuff. Um, Melaleuca, we're using that too. It's antiviral and antifungal. So that's awesome. It's antiseptic, so it cleans the wound as well. And you can use it on burns and wounds, uh, bites, and just other skin conditions like athlete's foot. And you're going to need three, go talk to daddy. My son wants help with his electronics, but um, you're going to need three two ounce tins for this. Just FYI. Um, so Melaleuca, we're using that. Frankincense is the other oil that we are using. And that is also an astringent. It's anti-inflammatory. And it's a natural painkiller, so that's awesome. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add everything. I just add about 30 drops to whatever I'm making, so I add 10 drops of each of these. So, ready, set, go. There's 10, actually 11, because I wasn't quick. And frankincense. I'm glad you came back, Sarah. I feel a little bit bad that my internet crapped out. Okay, and then we just pour it in. And I love using these uh, giant measuring cups because they have a pour spout. And it just makes it super easy to pour it in. Okay, and then you just wait for it to cool. To clean your stuff, um, you don't really want to try and um, get rid of the excess in your drain because it will make it terrible. <laughs> we'll clog it. Um, but what I like to do is I like to use my leftover boiling water and just go outside and pour it in um, my Pyrex and swish it around, not with my hand, just like this, <laughs> and pour it out onto the ground. Um, then if you have a paper towel, you can come in and like wipe out the residue because it will have some residue. And then you can clean it with like soap and water. But if you just try and dump over like the leftover stuff into your sink, you'll clog it and that's gross and horrible. So anyway, um, you can enter to win one of these by 
like sorry by tagging three people that may want to learn how to do a stab tag them in both of the videos since uh, my internet went out and that way they get the full thing and then if you want an additional five entries then you can share both videos to your wall with your friends so thanks for watching I will make a different video that's all into one and I will share it with you guys later. Bye.